This is a brief presentation on how to use the three Atlas free format functions together within one document. We're going to use the free format column to obtain name information, the free format balance to obtain revenue information, and the free format lookup to provide a list of currencies uh, all within the same document. So what we've got here is a document that has a field currency field in cell D4. We've got some customer groups in D7, 8, 9, etc. Um, we want to find the name of the customer, group, customer groups and um, store it in column E. We want the revenue figures to be stored in column F. So we're going to start by going to the free format column function, put our cursor in cell E7, and we want to go after the customer group. Customer group appears right here. Step one in creating a query is to select a customer group. Uh, excuse me, uh, select a table from my data source, and in this case, it's customer group. Step two in creating a, fear, a, a query is identify my filter fields. I want my filter fields um, to include the customer group. The customer group exists. I'm going to right click the customer group and choose the pick function to choose the customer group in cell D7. When I do that, the customer group defaults to the absolute relative settings, to the absolute absolute rel settings you see here, and I want the settings to be absolute relative, not absolute absolute. So I remove the second dollar sign and hit enter. It's important to hit enter. When I do that, my criteria are set, and then move over to output. I don't want the output to consist of customer group, so I will erase that choice and I will reselect description and click percentage field. That means my output is now going to consist of name. So I will click insert. When I click the insert button, Atlas execute executes my free format column query and it obtains the name based on the filter of customer group. Um, puts my query in the document, executes it, and as you can see the query also shows up in the standard Excel formula box. So I've got my um, uh, column E7 taken care of. I want that query to be sensitive to each of the groups in cell uh, in column D. So I can pull that query down and notice that it gets copied down to each of the rows in this document. So if I click back on the filter area, I can see that I've um, moved um, a copy of that query down to each of these lower level cells. As I click on each one of them, my cell references change accordingly. And therefore I'm obtaining the names that correspond to the groups just to the left. All right, now I want to go after sales information for each of these groups. To do that, I'm going to use the free format balance function. I'm going to select cell F7, go to free format balance. That resets my Atlas task pane. I want to go after the customer invoice journal table. I'll tick it. It's actually pre-ticked for me. I'll choose filters. And I want to make sure in my list of available fields that group and currency exist. There's currency but I don't see group. So I'm going to have to click my fields button. Click my available fields button. I can use search capability within Atlas to search for all fields con that contain the word group. It's probably one of these. I can show my system names and figure out which one of these. Ah, uh -huh, indeed, it is the second one. Customer group is this field. Click on that. Click OK. Now I need to finish configuring my filters by choosing criteria. So the two criteria bases are group. I can right click and pick group. Click OK. Also, as I did for my previous formula, I want to make this absolute relative. So I remove the second dollar sign and I hit enter. It's important to hit enter. And 
I also want currency to be included in my filters so I'm going to pick from cell D4 and in this case the cell reference is correct it's absolute absolute I always want this filter to be focused on cell D4 the output that I'm after on in step 3 of creating this balance query is not going to be the cash discount but instead it's going to be the sales subtotal amount when I'm ready to execute this query I click insert Atlas will execute the query and return the results to the cell that I had my cursor positioned on which was F7 it will show the sales subtotal amount based on that group and it will also embed the query in this document so if I save it and open it up again it will still be there and it will also show the results of the data source the filter and the output the three steps up here in the Excel formula box I want this balance query to be sensitive to each of the rows so when I copy it down the same situation exists as I demonstrated earlier with the balance function if I go back to the filters tab and I move down to lower level rows you can see that the group cell reference is changing and each of these balance queries is looking up the balance for their respective group okay the last thing we want to do here is provide a lookup of valid currencies for cell D4 using the free format lookup function so to make this happen I need to choose the table that contains the currencies that's the currency table when I click on the filters tab I don't want to put any filters in here this is kind of an anomaly but when it comes to lookups it's pretty normal I want Atlas to return all currencies in the AX database I click on the output how do I want my lookup to look well I want it to look very basic I don't care about reference currency code or symbol I just want currency and name I click OK I'm now ready to execute this lookup query I'll click insert notice here that something happened up here which I'll explain in a minute I've just inserted a lookup query into this document and I executed it I can see that there is a lookup query in the Excel formula box if I want to execute this query I have to change to standard mode when I do that notice what shows up in my task pane but uh, in fact a list of all the valid currencies that are contained in my AX database and as I choose each one of these notice that that choice gets copied into cell D4 and a refresh occurs um, however there's no data to look at because I don't have any currency uh, sales balance amounts for these other currencies I only have amounts for US dollar so I go back to US dollar tick on it US dollar gets pasted into cell D4 and a refresh of the entire document takes place uh, in fact all of these formulas are linked together via a common filter and um, you as a designer uh, are able to put these functions all together to make that happen as I just demonstrated so I've got a free format look up here I have a free format column here I've got a free format uh, balance here that concludes this presentation